<laughs> Make up colors in the toilet. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, just on the general theme of genetic testing, and nowadays, uh, you know, the doctors are sort of genetically testing you and giving you probabilities of how likely it is for certain uh, conditions or cancers to be uh, to occur by looking at your genetic profile and giving you statistics and ages, for example, for things like you know, breast removal or, or, or um, <clears throat> and other removals. So, now, okay, I have to, I have to preface this because this is a video. So, uh, I still recommend everyone see their medical practitioner and follow their advice. Uh, and, uh, they, but, um, and so, I've, I've given that disclaimer at the start of the video because I don't want to be, well, I don't need to say any more about that. But, okay, so, and I did myself. I did go to the doctors and had lots of miracles happen as all my illnesses vanished. Um, if it's just at a genetic level for me, I can share this. I think it's appropriate to share this. You know, there was a, there was a, there was a lady that approached me in a 12-step group. And a lot of people know I do this esoteric spiritual stuff. And she, uh, she was, um, they, found, they found a lump in her. You know, and uh, and uh, and she asked for my advice. So I just told her to say, "I cancel my belief in cancer. I'm an infinite being." I told her to do that, and uh, and then uh, and she was doing that. She was doing that, just repeating that. I cancel my belief in cancer, cancer. And then when she went back to the doctor for another scan, it had vanished. And so, not that I'm saying, that, but so. I've also experienced quite a lot of, I mean, I've seen people in this group experience quite a lot of miracles as well with cancelling beliefs. However, I have to say, you know, um, uh, yeah, okay, well, I'll explain it. So, with my, I can share my own experience with that. Like, I knew that Hawkins had recovered from 23 illnesses, many of them life-threatening. And he had run an attitudinal spiritual group out there in America, and people with cancer, AIDS, Meister's Graves, real serious disorders had all recovered in that group that Hawkins ran. And I, had, I met him and I had absolute 100% faith in his teachings. So, you know, and I've had lots of miracles. So, uh, like I think everyone knows here, you know, I cancelled my belief in asthma and, that, and I was discharged from the asthma clinic. I cancelled my belief in gout and I was eventually discharged, you know, through feeling the feelings and cancelling the beliefs. Um, with these things, you want to cancel your beliefs because all of medicine is a belief system, okay, according to, to Hawkins' work. They're just beliefs. And when I say a belief system, it's like, you know, there's a, there might be the overriding thing. I won't use the word cancer because it's a heavily charged, but let's say something like asthma. Uh, like if I say I cancel my belief in asthma, well, there's, you know, there's sub-beliefs like breathlessness. And there'll be uh, there may be sub beliefs with histamine release as well, so you can cancel the overriding belief, which is like asthma. But then, if there's sub belief systems that go in there, and how they manifest, you can actually cancel the medical model. Like with with gout, you know, like Hawkins had gout, I had gout, you know, and he talks about how he cancelled his gout. You now, like, and he's a medical doctor. So in gout, the, the medical marker is uric acid levels in the blood, yeah? So he just cancelled his belief in high uric acid levels, you know, and his uric acid levels went to normal. He cancelled his belief in cholesterol, and his, uric, uh, and his cholesterol levels went to normal, you know, while he carried on eating beef burgers and hamburgers, you know. So uh, he cancelled his belief in hyperglycemia and, and carried on eating sugar. So, uh, the canceling, so once you've cancelled the belief, the things go. So when a thing hasn't manifested, it's much easier to cancel the belief. Um, I think as well, another thing is with markers, like if they've got like genetic markers in which they're testing you. I mean, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, the thing I would do, I think I had a guy, you know, like things with like prostate, you know, you know that have markers. You know, you could cancel your belief and you could have retest and they'll tell you how the markers are doing. So it will give you feedback on how effective your cancelling is going. So you can actually see the input. But if it was something like, I don't know, if I went down and they said, like, you know, for men often it's prostate cancer. And they said, oh, look, you, you know, we've seen, we've seen the markers, we've done genetic testing. 
you know, uh, you've got a high probability to have this, you know, get this thing removed or whatever, then I would just say, I would be, I would like carry on for the testing, but I'd be furiously counseling my belief in it and then checking how the markers are doing, you see. So that way, you know, and I would try and, you know, I would try and cancel the markers out and get confirmation from the tests, you know. So if, you know, if it's something like they, they're doing genetic markers, actually you should be able to, if you're, um, I am on camera, but, you know, if you do the cancelling work and the markers disappear, like, you know, can, can you retest me on the markers just to make a, du as a double check or pay, pay for it privately to get a double check on the markers and try and cancel the markers out before. And, you know, my guess is if you've got three or four years before they say you should do something, I would be trying to cancel the markers out and have a retest. Are those markers, just can you double check, are those markers still there? Just as a retest. Or go to a different firm, or get another independent lab and pay for it. And then as you, and clear the markers. You know, if they say like your C23 gene on this chromosome is, uh, is, uh, is uh, dysfunctional, then I, I would cancel my belief in my C2 gene being dysfunctional, just exactly what they seek, specifically scalpel it out mm -hmm. and cancel your belief in it. Can you cancel, can I cancel, so something very similar has happened in my family, a family mm -hmm. member of mine has been born with a genetic disorder, yeah. um, a very rare one. Yeah. Can, well, can the power of my cancelling beliefs have an effect? Yes. Could the, be believed to have an effect on that person. Is that uh, that's a really, it's on? a really good question, actually. Um, okay, so so the way we do it as surrogate counselling, I go, you know, like God did not create, uh, God did not create cancer in uh, who should I use? God did. Oh, well, I can use a, a real one. God did not create psoriasis in my father, so it is not real, because my father's suffering from psoriasis. So I do. Every day, God did not create psoriasis in my father. That's how you do it. Now, you've got to understand, uh, so if I, had a, if I had a serious condition or if I wanted to really clear a marker, there's a number of factors you have to do together to maximise the speed of erasing things. You've got to understand, like, a, that's a karmic event if you've got the markers. That's, a, that's, a, that's your karmic destiny, within your, within your, which is manifested within your genes. So you have a genetic marker. Now, what you don't understand, if, depending on how severe it is, like something like cancer would be quite a severe karma, you've got to understand there's going to be what holds negative beliefs uh, in, 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 shall we say, your blueprint. What holds spiritual beliefs is the level of repressed feelings, uh, your level of consciousness, and your belief in that specific thing. So there's a number of factors, you have to work all of the factors together to maximise your chances in releasing it. So the higher your level of consciousness, the easier it is to get rid of something. And the less likely it is for something very negative to manifest. Okay? So I would do, so this is the thing, like, I, I, like here's a good example. I mentioned those illnesses, like I had, I had a transplant and I had 13 medication. I've got the proof of this, I can actually prove it calls me up and says, I don't believe you, you know, like one of those fraud busters or whatever. I've got proof of, I had 13 medication which went down to one in about two years. And the consultant actually said to me, he doesn't know of anyone else in the hospital who's a transplant patient who takes le as little medication as me. That's how profound it was. And I had medical proof of that because I had my list of medication go down to one as a transplant, you know, the lowest amount of medication in, in the World Free Hospital for a transplant patient. And it's like, as I was cancelling my belief in the adverse side effects of medication, it was like they're removing medication after medication that went down from 13 to 1. So that's how, as you, as you delete it in your mind, you don't need it in the outside, you see, because you just vanish your belief in it. But, so, cancel your belief, but you've got to feel out your feelings as well. Because if you just cancel your belief, it, it, it probably will work. But if you're holding, like, lots of repressed shame, guilt and fear, that's like the glue that holds what negative beliefs in. Like if you're holding tons of repressed shame and guilt, you know, those belief systems thrive on these huge repressed negative reservoirs. So if you're just cancelling the belief, I would also be, you know, like when I was getting, um, and I cancel stuff which had manifested, cancelling, I would say cancelling something which is not manifest is going to be a lot easier 
than cancelling something which is just at the genetic level. You just have to cancel the, 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 the gene out, you know, and I'm, I, I think, and uh, so that's what I do. I sit with my feelings. Uh, if you're working a 12-step program, work that, do the Course in Miracles, because the Course in Miracles is just cancelling all aspects of your ego as a general thing. You know, if you're into, into spiritual teachers, whoever it is, you know, Muji, Eckhart Tolle, Dr. Hawkins, just going into the witnesser, because in the witnesser, there is no identification to thoughts, negative thoughts, because that's, that's your spirit is limitless, eternal, and doesn't hold any, any limited thought in mind. So it doesn't exist when you're in the observer. So only you have to be in your ego, identified, then you can start believing, like in markers for cancer or something like that. So cancel, can, I would cancel, when you want to cancel something, if it's severe, like the number of times you cancel during the day is important. Like if you, so a belief system, and it, beliefs for me also are the key thing. To cancel your beliefs, if you've got something, you know, like, You've got to sort of see, like, a, a negative belief is held by the amount of repressed feelings you've got, uh, plus the thought. And a belief is a thought that's strongly believed. That's all a thought is, you know. Like, um, so, clearing out the negative emotions and cancelling that idea, or, you know, if it's something like a marker, as, as you might be cancelling two or three things. Like, if I was cancelling gout, I might say... I, I cancel my belief in gout, I'm an infinite being subject unto it. But I would also say, along with that, I cancel my belief in high uric acid levels. You know, cancel all the sub-stuff. You don't have to be perfect about it, just two or three. You know, cancel the overriding name of the whole thing. You might, you might want to cancel the marker, the name of the medical marker, what's it called? Okay, I cancel my belief in that marker. Um, if you, you know, if you, if you meet doctors and they give you, like, statistics, you can cancel your belief in those statistics as well. Because, you know, they, they're programming you, mm -hmm. you know, they're saying, oh, you've got this marker, so we expect you in three years. They've just mm -hmm. given you a belief system. Mm -hmm. And remember, you know, like, um, everything is belief, you know, like 30, what is it, the placebo effect in, in Dr. Willis, is it 30% or something? I forget what is it, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, you've got, is it about 30%? It's like, you know, like you've got, you, you've got, you've got like death cancer, or whatever it is, and they'll give like, <laughs> You know, if they just gave you, if they just said, like, gave you sh sugar pills, you know, like 30% of them will just recover from death cancer, which the doctor will say, just by giving you a sugar pill. So it's not the, it's not the drug, it's your belief, you know, it's your belief, you know. And in fact, if you just got someone in a white coat that looked, and they just said, like, this new wonder pill is like 99.999%, you really believe that, you, you just, you know, that would just do. So do you see how powerful these beliefs are? And even the belief in the genes. You just pick these up. These are part of a collective nightmare. We just pick up from each other these collective nightmare ideas and scenarios. You just can just cancel them out. They don't, they're not actually real. Um, so do, do that and uh, do general spiritual work and feel feelings. And just, I would like, if it's something really, really bad, you know, you could, eat, you know, you could say it 100 times a day. God did not create the C2 marker for cancer, it's not real. God did not create cancer, it's not real. God did not create the medical model of statistics, it, it is not real. You know, everything you're programmed by are, are belief systems. And as you pick up the belief systems and you believe them, they have the power to manifest. So you, you, you want to be, when I'd visit doctors, I'd just be in my head, I'd be going cancel, cancel, cancel. Because mm -hmm. they, they just tell you one negative statistic after another one. Mm. Oh, you didn't think that was bad? There's some more worse <laughs> research. You know, you should expect this and this side effect. And you know about that? I don't want to know about that. You know, it's like, I just got programmed by, because when you see an authority figure, you know, you tend mm -hmm. to automatically put your defenses down and believe them. You know, like you know, like a trap on the street said, "Look, you're going to die tomorrow." It's like, uh, go away! I don't believe anything you're saying. You know, put a white coat on them, and you go, oh "My God!" You know, it's like, <laughs> so it's like that's what it is. So I'd be very, I'd be, and if it was me, I'd be very confident. And I, but I would also back it up by getting the, the test done because mm -hmm. I'd be like working. Okay, I want to get this retested in two, in three months' time. And I hope I'm cancelling away and feeling my feelings and aiming for a negative on the test. And then I'll know, oh, yeah, okay, I've got the confirmation. It's gone now, you see. So use, use medicine, but cancel the markers. Um, yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. I, I,